Hello guys, welcome. Today we are going to test our CSS skills, which is the assignment of second week. So they have given some steps. We have to follow those steps. Step 1. Create a new folder on your computer for your work. So I am ready with my sublime text. Step 2. Download these two files to the new folder. So right click and save link as. I am naming it as styles.css. I am saving it on my desktop. And right click and save this index.html also. I am saving it on my desktop. Now next step. Open styles.css in a text editor and restyle the h1 tag by adding CSS properties. Note, you do not need to edit index.html. So what they says is, we have to make some changes in CSS file. We have to add some styles to h1 tag. Add comments to the CSS code before each property you specify like this. So, we want to add some comments whenever we want to add the properties. In the comment text, explain what the CSS property does to the display of the text. Step 5. Check your work by viewing the file in your web browser. Upload the styles.css file to the form view. So, in my submissions tab, we have to upload our CSS file. So till now we have downloaded these two files. Now we have to go to index.html. Then right click it and open view page source. So the HTML has opened. Now copy and paste this into our text editor. Now save this as index.html. It will save into the previous file. Then click S. Now go to CSS file and open. It will open in Notepad. Control C. And open new file here. So click on new file and add this. And save this as styles.css. Click yes. So now this is HTML file and this is CSS file. And we have to make some changes here. In CSS, we have to make some changes. Now let us look how this open in our web browser. So this is the text they have given responsive website development and design so what we have to do is we have to apply some styles like changing the color font size font family background color like that we can do any operations on this so let us go to sublime and make some changes so whenever we are adding a property we have to mention in comment line also what does this property make so for the body, I am changing background color. I want to change background color. I want to change it into yellow. It's your wish you can change it into you know, any colors. Now we have to add the comment. Like what this background color will do. So it changes the background color to yellow. And then close the comment. So I want to do some changes to body and that is background color. And I want to make some changes in H1. So what is H1? So responsive website development and design. I want to make some changes to this heading. Some styles, I want to apply some styles. So I want to apply the color. I want to change it into blue color. So we have to add a comment. So what does this do? 
it changes the color of edge to blue. And next, I want to make the text into center. So I am using text align to center. So add a comment. So it will make the text to center. And next, I want to change the font size. Font size to so some fifty pixel. So add a comment. It is the size of characters. Next, I want to change font family. So let's change the comment. It specifies the font of H. I am using Vedder now. So let us save and check the browser. So reload it. So our web page looks like this. So that's it. Now we want to submit it here. Now go to my submission tab and give some title as web page. It's your wish. And upload the file. We have to upload only styles.css file. So we have up so if you wish to add title and caption, you can add those and you can submit it now. So thank you guys for watching.